Welcome to the Limitless Entrepreneur Podcast, your weekly dose of strategies and mindset tools to build a business in alignment with your purpose and to get you playing a bigger game. I'm your host, Nicole Lano. Hello and welcome to the Limitless Entrepreneur Podcast, everyone. I'm your host, Nicole Lato, and welcome and Happy New Year. It is our first episode of 2023, and I wanted to start this off with something to set the tone for the rest of the year, something that I want you to start to, to just take away and, and, and ponder, contemplate, and s- specifically something that I'm going to have you stop doing. It's, it's something that I want to I point out here. Now, where this is all coming from is there's one common theme that I see with everybody who comes into my world, whether it be for a human design reading or who works with me privately or somebody who works inside my Limitless Entrepreneur group coaching program. There's kind of this one theme um, of why people come to me, how they end up in my world and, and kind of the result that they get out of this. And first, a lot of people don't necessarily know what they need. That's, that, that's a big common theme is that people don't necessarily know what they need. They don't know exactly what they're looking for. They, they have goals, but more the overarching theme is that they know something's not right. They know that something is off. They know that it's internal, but they've probably done a lot of, usually people have done a lot of mindset work. They've done a lot of like rewriting beliefs and they've journaled and they've, they've, they've done all of the things and they're like, but I I just, I can't figure it out. I'm, I'm playing by the rules. It feels like I'm playing by the rules of how to be successful. I listened to all the big gurus. I listened to all of these people who were successful. I've listened to all the coaches I've hired and all the mentors I've hired, but something still doesn't feel right. Something is just not working. Some things are, but even the things that are, they don't really feel good. Something just feels off. And what that leads to is this really subversive, um, destructive thought, the destructive question of, well, what's wrong with me then? If I'm doing all the right things and things still aren't working, then what's wrong with me? If I put all of this work in and all of this money in and it's still not giving me what I want, what's wrong with me? Because I'm seeing it work for other people. And so often when they come to me, I, I get a lot of people with human design readings come with, with questions. I always ask people when I start the reading, I ask them for uh, stories about their life. Tell me what's happening with you. Tell me what you do. Tell me about what you're enjoying, what you're not, what's working, what's not. And that often clues me into exactly where to start with that reading because it's often so obvious in the chart where it's coming from. It's so obvious to me. So when I look at someone, someone says like, these are the things that are not working. Um, So if I have somebody who comes to me and they say, you know, I feel completely burnt out. I'm no longer like, I'm not in love with what I do. And it's so odd for me. I don't even want to see people. I don't even really want to hang out with anyone. I just want to, I feel like something inside of me is pulling down and hitting the brakes hard. And I'm just pissed off all the time. But in the past, I've been really successful. In the past, things have really worked. I've loved my work, but I've been doing this thing for a year now and I'm just, I just can't stand it and I don't want to do it anymore. And then I look at the chart and I'm like, well, you're a manifester. And it's really clear why, if you're doing something for a long period of time, why you would feel burnt out, why you would feel frustrated, why you would feel angry, why it would make you antisocial when you feel like you are a very social person naturally. It's exactly, it, it, it is exactly in alignment with how you are in misalignment with your type, with your theme, with who you are. There's nothing wrong with you. There's actually something wrong with the way that you're operating. And it can be simple shifts that help to correct that. Now, there's lots of things that we do. We decondition, we, we, stop, um, we stop leaning into the parts that don't work. We stop leaning into the parts that are not ourselves. We start to notice the not self. There's all of that. But often there's these really simple shifts that can be made. Simple, tiny shifts where it's like, okay, well, if you, what if you pulled back on your hours there and what if you delegated some of that stuff to somebody else? 
what if you made every single vision that you had, what if you had to have a team in place to start out in order for you to know that you can hand that off when you want? Like this, these are, this is advice. These are ways that we start to shift things. This is, I'm giving you examples for how I dealt with a, a manifestor recently and, and, and what I was advising her on and what it leaves people with. And this happens with all types, with all different types and all different designs, um, where it's these simple shifts of how we can pull you into alignment. People think it has to be this radical, you know, self-exploration exercise it, I mean, it's definitely self-exploration, but it doesn't have to be radical. It just, what it honestly is, is about noticing where you are misaligned. It's like going to an energetic chiropractor. You don't need back surgery, but you need to come for several visits and probably tune-ups ongoing to make sure that you stay in alignment, that your spine is in alignment. Otherwise everything is off. And that's what this feels like. It's like, it's, it's human design can be that energetic chiropractor. It's that same principle. It's that same principle of taking little shifts, a little crack here, a little readjustment here, and suddenly you're walking straight again and your hips don't hurt. <laughs> um, so, so the, the most important thing for that, that comes out of these readings. And the most important thing that I tell these people and what I want you to know, what I want you to think going into 2023, I want you to stop feeling, saying, and thinking that you need to be fixed, that there's something about you that needs fixing. And I want you to know that there's absolutely nothing wrong with you that nine times out of 10, it's in the chart. It's a way that you're operating that's incorrect. And through simple adjustments, you can start to create flow. Because when you have flow, you feel like working. When you have flow, it, it's fun. When you have flow, you are in energetic alignment and you start to call people to you. People start to find you. They start to respond to you in a very, very different way where the effort that you are putting out, where the signals that you're putting out, which it might feel like none of those are working. Like I'm telling people what I offer and nobody's buying. It can feel that way. And there are definitely things within the chart that can help us identify exactly why they aren't working and the ways that you can shift that to make them start to work and to make your life feel a whole lot better. And Truthfully, that a lot of times comes from deconditioning the mind to make you think that it has to be done a different way, that it has to be done like everybody else says it needs to be done. It can be a lot simpler. So you need to realign. You don't need to fix yourself. You do not need to fix yourself. What you do need to do is realign your life, your business, and your relationships according to your design. Because when you start living in honor of who you are, everything and everyone around you changes. This journey is such a beautiful unfolding to show you exactly how you end up in flow rather than in frustration, anger, bitterness, and disappointment. It's not where you belong. And that's what human design shows us. It's such a powerful tool. So I hope that you take this and you realize that you don't have to be fixed. That simple adjustments in your behavior and in the way that you view yourself can have major impact on your life. And make the commitment right now to, to recognize that and observe that in 2023. And we actually, we have a little deconditioning guide for you that can really help you understand how to realign for your type and how you can decondition based on your open centers. We have a little guide that we created for you, which is, which is really awesome. It's free. Um, you can go to nicoleno.me forward slash decondition, just like condition, but with D-E in front, D-E-C-O-N-D-I-T-I-O-N. <laughs> um, you can go to that website and download the free guide there. Um, that will help you kickstart this journey. This is the first step in deconditioning. And we have that made out for you for free that you can take into 2023 and you can start to experience what 
the people in my programs and, and, and in my world experience, which is you just feel better and better. You feel more grounded. You feel unshakable. You feel like you can finally do the things that felt so hard before and they're no longer hard. And I have to tell you, it's a pretty magical feeling. I highly recommend it. Um, but if you can't jump into a program right now, or if you can't, if you, if you want to take a, the first step would be booking a reading. You can book a reading with me at nicoleano.me. You can go to the work with me page. We'll link all of this up in the show notes for you as well. If you want to book a reading and just get a kickstart into your design, that's definitely what I recommend to start out with. Or if you want to go full out and you want to, you're really committed to your human design journey. The Limitless Entrepreneur Program is my group pro coaching program where you get to work with me for the term of six months or a year. We have lots of really great things that are happening in there. If you're looking to build your business and really realign radically and, and start making those shifts and have support while you're doing it, um, that would be the program for you. So you can also find that on the work with me section of the, lim of the of nicoleno.me of the website. Um, but please download that free guide. If you're not ready to jump into any of those paid offers yet, we have a free guide for you. And I hope that that gets you started and kicks off your 2023 in alignment with you accepting how beautiful you are and how magical you are and that the white space in your chart holds your greatest gifts. So I love you all. I'm wishing you a very happy new year. Welcome to 2023. We're ready to kick this one in the pants. I'm so excited about it. There are so many things that I'm envisioning for this year, and I'm holding those visions for you as well. Um, thank you so much for being a loyal listener of the show. Please tell your friends, tell everybody about this. Please uh, take a little snapshot and, and share it in your Instagram stories so that we can get the word out about this show. I'm at Nicole Lano Official. Please tag me. Um, we would love to, for you to help us spread the word about this show and get this and this work out to more people. Thank you so much, everyone. Remember, you are only limited by the limitations that you accept. And when you stop accepting those limitations, that is when you become limitless. So go out there and be limitless, everyone. I will see you in the next episode. If you loved this episode, please leave us a review on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you're listening to this podcast. And if you want to stay in touch with us, we would love to have you as a part of our Facebook community, Practical Manifestors. It's a community for process-driven women looking for clear and actionable steps to embodying a life of wealth and alignment. Join us at Practical Manifestors in Facebook or go to www.innerceogroup.com.